Let's take you again to another school. Now imagine a girl experiencing painful menstrual cramps and doesn't have sanitary pads. And that's the situation of some female pupils of the Loloto Presbyterian School in the Kwandai district of the northern region. In the absence of the sanitary pads, the girls use rugs during their periods. Many of them miss classes for fear of being ridiculed by their classmates. Join us as Henry Kwesibedu has more in this report. The setting of Loloto in the northern region looks pre-independence. Buildings here are mostly mud houses with thatched roofs. Most adolescent girls in this small community of a northern region have a big worry. Menstruation, a nightmare. 13-year-old Agnes Bui is a class 6 pupil of a Loloto primary school in the Kwandai district. In my menstrual period, I don't have money to buy a pad, so I'll be sitting in the house waiting for the time that I'll go to fetch firewood and come and say to get money to go and buy my pad. 16-year-old Precious Opua is a JHS1 student here. She tells me why she misses classes any time she's menstruating. If I get my menses, I'll be using gloves and if I come to school, I cannot concentrate. I'll be feeling shy. My friends, they'll be laughing at me and their boys, they'll be laughing at me. I'll be doing bad day to get money to buy sanitary pad and my books. Assistant head teacher of Luluto Primary School, Lucas Tatul Ntapuan, says the situation is affecting the progress of the girls and ultimately academic work in the school. When it happens, most of our girls, they stay out of school totally. You know, the community is such a way that the parents don't educate their children on some of the signs or the experiences that they will be getting when they are in their periods. So whenever it happens like that, because of the heavy flow of the blood, some of them don't have their past away. So the only option they have is to stay away from school. They don't want to come to school and they will see some of the things happening to them. And their colleagues in one way seeing it happening to them will be using it to tease them. So they find it comfortable to stay away from school until the period is over, and which affects them academically. Some of them are academically good, and you can see that they are future leaders, but because of the menstrual cycle and the problems they encounter, they don't always make themselves available in the school. Get assistance from their parents or guardians on how to handle menstrual periods. Same cannot be said of a rural adolescent girls in Loloto. For teenage girls like Agnes and Precious, this period problem presents a major obstacle to their education within the already ailing school and community. Henry Kwesibedu's report from Luluto.